All weekend long, people have been walking up to me talking about this story, and we have a big follow-up on that wild stolen truck chase. You saw here on Fox 5 on Friday, the suspect arrested is in the U.S. illegally, and federal officials tell Fox 5 they want to take him into their custody. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald is live in Silver Spring, where this all ended. Fitz, here's the question. Where is the suspect now? Well, Maryland State Police are telling Fox 5 that Cesar Flavio Lanuza right now is still in the hospital after that chase on Friday. Now, when he is discharged, he's supposed to go to the Montgomery County Correctional Facility. However, federal immigration officials are telling Fox 5 tonight from the Immigration and Customs Enforcement that they have now filed an immigration detainer on Flavio Lanuza. Look, you watch this on your TVs live on Fox 5. Flavio Lanuza led police on what could only be described as a bizarre car chase after stealing a Maryland State Highway Administration truck, crashing into other cars, crashing into police cars, finally crashing into a ditch here on Route 29 in Silver Spring, which ended this whole thing. ICE's Baltimore Field Office director tells Fox 5 tonight that Flavio Lanuza is not only in the United States illegally, he is actually a Nicaraguan citizen. We were not aware, we had not been looking for him. So he was encountered by the, the, um, the local community. And um, once we became aware of it, we immediately issued a detainer after we did our comprehensive review. Now, Fitz, before you go, here's a quick question. Did federal officials know about his immigration status before this car chase on Friday? No, and, you know, this tends to be a problem in these kind of detainer situations, that a local jurisdiction will arrest an individual like this. ICE will only find out about them after the fact. Now, ICE will issue an immigration detainer on this, meaning that they want to take custody of this individual once those jurisdictions are process that individual, but that is where the disconnect has happened many times between the federal government and ICE and these local and county jurisdictions. Oftentimes, ICE has said that individuals have been released without ICE knowing about it. Many times, local jurisdictions say, well, that they weren't aware that ICE had a, a, a detainer. Uh, suffice to say, though, that the attention that this case has gotten with Flavio Lanuza, uh, bears witness to the fact that uh, nobody should be caught in the dark at this point, that ICE does have an immigration detainer on this individual. So ICE is very hopeful that Montgomery County officials are going to honor this request, and at whatever point they can take custody of him, they will take custody of him, and then put him through the regular immigration enforcement process. All right. Thank you, Fitz.